Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today with just a quick little project using up some Tim Holtz bits and bobs that I've got left from my first wallflower paper pad. And this project is inspired, well it's not inspired, it is the same project. Yeah, I've made it out of different size things and yeah. But basically, this is one done by Sherl, uh, my friend in Oklahoma who has a YouTube channel called Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique. She also has an Etsy shop of the same name. That's on holiday at the moment because she's just had surgery but it will be back open with us soon. So that's Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique. And yeah, it's basically using up those little bits in the back of the pads that, you know what it's like, you get your full 12 by 12 sheets, don't you? Then you get the sheets with the bits that you can cut up into journal cards or etc. And I shall use the larger ones. I happen to have these cut out at the side of me on my shelf. So I've used these and this is what I've made. I think it's really cute. This, I just love this bit. All she's done is she's cut a little circle out and used a bit of acetate and yeah, you can then, you can journal on back if you have a dark pen. If you don't, just, you can put you know that brown sticky stuff I put on you could use that or I'm going to make a couple of them that are going to stay as little opening, opening booklets yeah so I'll show you how to do it like that as well right I'll use this one first so no measuring involved I've just cut these out as they were in the pad I'll tell you what they measure in a second the, these ones the desk's a mess I haven't tied it up from yesterday these ones are three by four, so yeah, it would be six by four, yeah, three by four when folded. So, oh, that's the piece of acetate I'm going to need. I'm glad it fell on me actually because it's really hard to find acetate on a messy desk. <laughs> it's a bit see through, isn't it? A bit see through. So, that's that. So, I've got my one inch mines of Fisker's circle punch. And you could use you could use a square if you've got it. You could use anything. Uh, where am I going to put my little hole on this one? I think I want it there. Yeah, I mean this one's all about birds, so I'm not. I don't know whether I'll put a butterfly on it or not. I might put. I don't know. I've just dig it out, dug out all the teeny tiny little bits from my Tim Holtz. They were the were the field notes snippets. They're just so small, some of them. Right, so I'm going to come in and I'm just going to punch a circle in as deep as it'll go really which is not very deep on my punch yeah if your punch goes in deeper good all power to you <laughs> because mine oh, I found it a bit difficult to get the glue in done around the edge but I managed it and because I wanted to use these cards up I did it right you'll see I've done that on the edge and for ages if you've watched my channel you'll see that I've been doing these corners with I'll show it you on here I've been using my circle punch haven't I just to come in and do that yeah well I actually own a We Are Memory Keepers it's the Deco and Stub one totally forgot I had it used to use this a lot in my mini album days yeah you've got too many craft supplies love if you forget you own them and this one ain't broke yet I must have not dropped it so I'm just going to chomp those corners just gives it that little bit of interest doesn't it yeah and yeah I'm not keeping this one open the inside just doesn't match the outside does it not at all so next thing I'm going to cut a piece of acetate I don't know if you can see yes you can see it shining at light because I am filming in electric light so it were way too hot to film in the day I'm just going to cut the acetate out of shot because I don't want to blind you I really don't oh and the whole sheet just slid just stay, stay. Acetate lunch. Right, I'm going to cut that corner off as well because when I put it on there, yeah, I did have issue with that corner piece before. I've cut that far bigger than I need. But the first time I cut one, I cut it too small. So you just can't win, can you? Now, dry adhesive is best on this, on acetate, but art glitter will work. Just be careful you don't squidge it up past your window. I'm going to use a combination of the two. I can't find my little tape runner. Not surprising. If you saw the state of my desk, you'd be like, how do you find anything? It's 
very difficult to see where your acetate is in electric light. Oh yeah, I just got a bit on there. So I'm trying to put a little bit just on the edge. Now, because I've not got a lot of room here, after putting the adhesive on, I'm just going to snip a bit more of that acetate off. Because I just wanted a really thin line of adhesive. Yeah, and I'm going to do best rest with my art glitter. A teeny tiny, teensy little bit. She says, struggling to squeeze it out, because guess what? She didn't put pin in. Are you shocked? No, I don't think you are. The most shocking thing that happened this week was my C saying my desk was tidy. <laughs> Yeah, so a few of you picked up on that in comments. If I <laughs> can't remember it work, you know I can't remember who it were because I'm terrible. <coughs> uh, said she wondered if it were a different person we see we're talking about. And you can now see that I have gone ahead and I have put my tape on the wrong side of this piece. Well, why wouldn't I? So I'm going to cut that corner off. <laughs> I'm going to try again. Oh, woman, stop it. It's hot. That's my excuse. I have no idea how you people in America, the US and other hot countries, America, US, I meant America, Australia, Canada, managing this weather. It's totally doing my head in. Right, because I've got finger marks all over my acetate, I've got my glasses cleaning cloth here. And I'm just going to get a little bit of a clean. Yeah, because well, you don't want to see my thing, grubby finger marks, do you? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. Now, yeah, I'm going to glue the whole thing down. I'm not going to tell you what I could do because on the next one I'm actually going to do it, yeah? So, yeah. Look what we could have done. Could have done. Look what you could have won. Oh, bullseye. Yeah, that was a UK TV programme, Bullseye. When people didn't win Star Prize, they used to bring it out on stage to show it him and go, look what you could have won. Really cruel. Right. Have I managed not to get... Oh, you silly woman. I've gone and put some tape inside, right? To tape the middle. And I've gone and put it right under my window. So luckily this stuff does roll off. If you ball it up. That's better. Doesn't look disgusting now. Disgusting child. <laughs> I don't even know what film that's from. It is from a film. It's not what I said to my kids. <laughs> not always, anyway. Sometimes I might say it to them when the bedroom's in a bit of a tip. Right, I also like Shell's um, inking technique, and I'm going to give it a go. I forgot to do it on the first one. And it really did make it look so much nicer. Right, what she does is she comes in with the vintage photo, and she comes quite far onto the card like yay I hope your toe's feeling better Cheryl yeah she's broke a toe that won't a surgery yeah so yeah some people are never happy are they you can't live with just one ailment they've got to go and break more things <laughs> she knows I'm joking so yeah quite far on with the that one. <laughs> What's it called? Oh my word. Vintage photo. Then just the eggs. Edge. <laughs> just the eggs. I just said just the eggs. Just the edge with the distress. Oh, not with the distress oxide. The walnut stain. Cheryl shows you how to do one thing and then puts music on for the rest of her videos. The way I'm performing, I think I need to start doing the same. Wow, look at the difference in that inking. That is amazing. I love that, Cheryl. Thank you so much for that tip. I'm going to be using it a lot more often. It looks so good. So you can teach an old dog new tricks, it would appear. Right, what am I going to stick on that window? I've got all butterflies out, yeah, and mushrooms, ready for ones I were going to use. And I don't think a butterfly or a mushroom is going to be appropriate on that. So let's have a look what other teeny tiny snippety things Tim Holtz has bombarded us with. So they're all in the bottom of here, underneath all the bigger ones. I'm not very organised with my Tim Holtz bits. Every pack I get, regardless of what it is, gets chucked in this box. 
and I want a bird and I don't think I'm going to find a bird that's the world's smallest butterfly that will come in much handy very handy what's that a mushroom I think we're gonna to have to bite the bullet and not use a bird because yeah I'm really disappointed in you eh Timothy a huge bird shortage I, do you know I've never realized there's no birds in these there isn't is there there's plenty of insects creepy crawly things not a bird in sight how disappointing. So what do birds eat? Butterflies. <laughs> do you know I actually like that little round butterfly on there? Birds can eat butterflies, can't they? Do they eat mushrooms? Do birds eat mushrooms? I like that mushroom. I think it might go better than a butterfly on this one. Blow it, I'm putting a mushroom on. It's too small to get my dry adhesive on, so I'm going to do it with art glitter, but a teeny tiny amount. Oh, that mushroom's got a hole in the middle. Didn't look. This might muck the whole thing up if that glue splodges. Don't splodge, because I could cry. Well, my sound seemed a lot better on yesterday's video and the people I've spoke to did agree. It doesn't stand out a lot that, but I do like it. And do I even have a mushroom? <clears throat> I don't even think I have a mushroom charm. I may not even have a bird charm. We might be sticking a leaf on this. This were a really bad one to start off with, wasn't it? A really bad example. Right, I'm going to pop a hole in. I'm using my 316 hole. I want it quite near that corner so that my bulb pin is going to lie nicely when I pop it through. So grab a eyelet. I'm using my mucky gold ones as I like to call them. There we go. I'm sticking to one eyelet size today. It was very annoying switching from one to other yesterday. Next time I do a project where I'm using two sizes, I'll get my big bite out. Right, I want a bulb pin. I'm using bronze, antique bronze. I'm liking to mix the colours up a little bit these days. I'm much less matchy matchy than I used to be. And what do I need on here? Have I got a mushroom? I don't want to spend three days looking for a mushroom. I've got a vague idea there's a mushroom in a certain place. I'll look in that one place and if it's not there I'll give up the ghost on mushrooms. No, it's all leaves. I think a leaf would look good, don't you? Ooh, look at this one. Oh, bronzy flowers and leaves and... Ooh, there's a mushroom house. Ooh, look at this. I have got some mushrooms, but they're huge. That's the digby of mushrooms on there, isn't it? I'm going to put that on because it could, it's a mushroom house to me, but it could be a bird house, yeah? I really need to crack on and get some bronze bird charms. I've got loads of silver ones. I've got some really huge bronze bird ones. I've got some of them bird nests, but I don't have any teeny tiny one's right it confuses me which way around to put my house on oh jobs are good and this house is double-sided doesn't really matter so I'm just popping the bulb pin through the hole the bulb pin will then sit like so through the hole have I done it right no that's it ends up like that that's it with the fat bulb bit at the top and the fastener at the bottom and then that just sits there like that and they're just so cute I'm gonna make another right this time I'm gonna make it so that am I yeah I'm gonna make it so it's a little opening booklet yeah and all I'm gonna to do to do that is 
I've got some single cards. I'll show you what I cut the single cards from. Right, you see how these, they're really nice. That's going to be the front. That's a plain back. Some of them aren't set up so nicely. Like this one, yeah? It would be back to front. Even like that, it would be back to front. So I just cut those in half to use as single cards. And I'm going to use one of these single ones to make a double layer inside the front, yeah? So, this one definitely wants to be a butterfly and it wants to be flying up there above the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole. Dare I try a bigger hole? I'm going to try a bigger hole. I'm going to try my one and a half inch circle punch. Oh, it's already on the desk. Silly woman. Oh, I've got a one and a quarter inch now, haven't I? forgot that. Ooh, let's try it one and a quarter. More craft supplies I forgot I owned. I only bought this last week. When we buy me a coffee money. Yeah, let's try. Oh, I'm going to cut some of the flour. Could I have it up that side? No, I'll have it there. That'll do. I'm not too bothered I'm cutting a bit of flour. The world is not going to end. Yeah, it'll look like a butterfly sat on flour, she says. So just pop those out of the way. You're to a, you two are finished. Sit there for a minute. And I'm going to fold this over now. Should have done it before I punched a great uh, gaping hole in it. Mine's have been easier. But we've done it. So that's that. Look like, I do. I do like that behind. But I want, I want this to be able to open up and be a journal card. You can add pockets. You can do whatever you want inside it. So this is the one I'm going to use. I like that. And because I've punched a bigger hole, I can use one of these slightly bigger butterflies. Some of them were a little bit big for that one inch circle punch. What have we got? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, sweet. I do like him. Is he colourful enough? Oof, beetles. Zoe, that's going in your box. I don't like him, do I? Actually, I think I might do. Yeah, I like him. He's good. I mean, you don't have to put the acetate in. I just think it looks good. And Shell did it, and it looked good, so I did it. Because it actually does look good. Right. Get me acetate. This is going to be much easier now, because my EK Success Circle Punch goes far more further into the card than my Fiskars one did. But I'm going to need a slightly bigger chunk of acetate because it's a bigger circle. So that's that cut. Oh, it's sliding back again. Go away. Stay off camera. Yeah. It's a fame hog. Fame hog, that acetate sheet. I'm sorry for blinding you with this acetate. So that's going to go on there. Oh, this will be fab. I'll be able to just use my dry adhesive on this one. And there won't be a problem. I can see where acetate is. I'm just going to bring in a brown piece of card, see if I can see acetate any better on the brown card. I can, actually. Just a smidgen. I'm just going to do corners on this, actually. Now I know it's going to fit. That was far too many actuallys in the uh, space of three seconds, weren't it? Yes. So that's going to go there. Nice. That, that's much easier with bigger circle punch. Just going to clean that one with glasses cloth. Because I've got finger marks on it. And then I'm going to pop this inside. I'm going to cut it down slightly because it can't, if it's the same depth, look, it starts to stick out a bit. So I'm still not measuring. I ain't measuring. But what I am going to do is use my trimmer. Because trying to cut that with a pair of scissors is just not going to happen for me. Um, there we go. Do you know what? I've decided I might put it that way. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to pop it that way. Because not only will we have the butterfly then, but we will also have... Do you know, I'm just wondering now, did Shell put the butterflies under the acetate or over them? I ain't got a clue. I've been putting them on top. 
maybe we're supposed to put them up. No, we don't. I don't know. I, I, do you know, I haven't got a clue. But this time I'm going to put the butterfly under. Have I lost the butterfly we're going to use? Highly likely, name me. I'm full of tricks like that. Where are you? There he is. That's the one I chose, isn't it? Oh, but now he's going to be way at flower. I've got a little sideways. That's it. That's even better. Look at that. That's better. A sideways butterfly and the flower. I absolutely love that. I really do. That is so cute. I'm going to stick him on before I lose him. Oh, look at him about to land on that flower. That was such a happy accident, that. Could not have done that again. Not at all. So, I'm going to put... <laughs> he looks very weird like that, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm going to put a dry adhesive all the way around the edge of here. Just because I can. And it's quick. And I said this was going to be a quick video, 20 minutes later. I'm just going to get off the bits where I've gone over the edge a little bit. It's really good, this stuff. It rubs off when you need it to, but once it's stuck and burnished down, it ain't going anywhere. Right, so I'm going to line these edges up. I think. There we go. Oh, how sweet is that? That is lovely. I really like that. So now it's still an opening journal card. I think I still want to... I like those corner shapes. I'm going to do it, whatever. If it doesn't look good on opening side, then we'll just stick it down, won't we? So that, that's a different shape. Let's see what this other shape looks like. Grab a bit of random, that's a tag, I don't want to use that. Just a random piece of card will do. Oh, I like that. Should we do that shape instead? Actually, no. <laughs> I just teased you there, didn't I? I like that shape far too much at the moment. And we'll ink this one up. Do you know because there's glue and stuff inside it's made this all sticky. I'm going to ink this one up in shells. Using shells technique. Uh, I really enjoyed watching this shell. Whee. So we're going quite a bit way on, further on than usual. I'm building it up steady because it's not really my usual. I don't want to overdo it. I really love how he just looks like he's about to land on that flower. That is so cute. And then I'm going to put my Distress Oxide just on the edge part. It's walnut stain. Shell used... Um, Distress inking them both, but I happen to be using Distress Oxide. So, there you go. When you're using them dry, it doesn't really make much difference, apart from colour. Oh, I like that. That is so cute. Right, I'm going to have to put the um, charm just through one side, aren't I? I quite like it as well. That shape, once it's opened up, it really is nice. And I don't know where to put the charm. I think I might put it that side. I really might. Yeah, I'm going to. It won't get way up to butterfly. The thing is now, will my corner chomper go through acetate? Now, we'll find out, won't we, in a second. Because I'm going to try it. It should do. It goes through chipboard and all sorts of stuff. Leather. So, let's try it. Yeah, went through no problem. Quite happy with that. So that's something else I've learnt that I can forget by tomorrow. 
another mucky gold eyelet. Pop you in. Squish you down. Oh, you fell into a bit heavy handed there. I've misshapen my eyelet slightly. I can live with that. I do that from time to time. I don't know my own strength. I've been watching some. Yeah, I've had a very chill day today. Uh, I've dropped in on Fiona, who is Miss Paint a lot. She was having a chilled day. She did her live this afternoon playing with ink. She got some really fabulous effects. I loved them. I don't know how to put a flower or a butterfly on. Should we have a flower? Yeah, let me do a flower. Yeah. Because we've got a butterfly. I know we've got lots of other flowers, but we've got a butterfly on that other one, haven't we? Let's do a flower on for a change. Right, did I get a bullpin out and lose it while I was talking? It's highly likely that I did. You can probably still see it somewhere on my desk. Then it's there, it's there. I can't find it. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Let's see. I'm going to get this flower the wrong way around. I know I am. I really just know I am. It baffles my brain sometimes. Yeah, I've put it wrong way around. I need to do it that way. It's funny when you're having it on the other end of the bulb pin. Putting them on this way, you need to put the flower on the opposite way to what you think. Because when you turn it round... <laughs> she says... She says, yeah, that's it. Oh, I thought I'd done it wrong then. Yeah, that's it, I did it. Wowza. Do you know what? I'm going to stop there. Yeah, this short video is now half an hour long. I've made... I'd already made that one to show you. I've made... One of each, an opening one and a non opening one. I'm not going to go putting pockets on. I'll do those whenever. You get the gist. And I just think they are so cute and so sweet. And if you don't have that corner chomper I've got, do it with your circle. Pardon me. Do it with your circle punch. Yeah, that works too. I've been doing it for the last year myself because I forgot I owned that. Crazy lady. Yeah, give him a whirl and go over and check Cheryl out. She has some. She does a lot of sales. She sells some really yummy stuff, yeah. And yeah, she does some good crafting videos. And she's starting to do more YouTube now, so it'd be lovely if you popped over and gave her a watch. So, thank you very much for joining me. And yeah, I will see you next time. Thank you, bye.